Hey there, Purple Rain 81 here. Um, if you haven't watched uh, the past two videos I've made, um, this is going to be this is going to be part two um, in a series uh, where I'm discussing lessons learned from my 35 days spent living out in the woods. Uh, the last one I did was going over water. Um, some lessons I learned there. Uh, this one is going to be going over food. Uh, <clears throat> so let's get started. Um, I want to say the, the first lesson that I really learned when I was doing this about food was when before I did this, the food that I prepped, um, I wasn't really paying like a lot a, you know a great deal of attention on what type of food it was that I was prepping. Um, you know, I was just trying to like you know prep basically. you know I was trying to stock up on stuff. I wasn't paying close enough attention to what was in the food that it, that I was prepping. Um, you know, you don't really think about that too much, and you don't think it's too much of an issue. You think, you know, if I'm starving, I just need food. That's it, black and white. Not so much. Um, you know, after doing this, I, I really realized that, um, you know, probably after the first week of doing this, uh, the, the malnutrition, basically, um, was really starting to affect my body. Uh, and you wouldn't really think it would happen that quickly. Um, I was kind of surprised, to be honest with you. I didn't think there would be any kind of issues at all. Um, but after about a week, I really started to notice that it was taking a toll on me. Um, you know, because primarily for the whole the whole month, the, the majority of the food that I was eating was oatmeal, um, ramen noodles, and Spam. That pretty much consisted of my diet every day, was oatmeal in the morning, ramen noodles at lunch, Spam at night. And sometimes I switched it up a little bit and got crazy and ate Spam for lunch, but that was about it. Um, you know, and you can't really, you can't expect your body to perform right when that's the kind of stuff you're putting into it every day for a whole month. Um, you know, but, uh, honestly, after about a week, I started to notice that, like, I was getting more fatigued easily, um, and my overall just, I just felt like shit, um, you know, so I thought, well, from here on out, you know, I need to start being a little more careful about what it is that I'm prepping, um, because when you go to depend on that stuff, you need it to be able to do what you need it to for you. Um, you know, so I started trying to think of like, okay, what are some ways that I can uh, overcome that obstacle? Um, the only thing that, things that I could really think of was, one, um, you know, you've got to make sure that you've got something that's got like high, excuse me, a high calorie count um, and high in protein, um, like the Spam. The Spam's real high calorie, high protein. Uh, you know, or tuna. T tuna was one of the things I did eat also. Um, but the, the downside of those things, you can't really solely rely on that because nine times out of ten, if it's something that's real high calorie, real high protein, it's probably like a meat. Uh, so it's not going to have a whole lot of like vitamins and minerals in it like fruits and vegetables do. Um, so one other thing I thought about doing was, <clears throat> um, you know, if you could stock or you know get like a uh, a food dehydrator um, and a vacuum sealer uh, and do that with uh, fruits and vegetables um, that would be something that would be lightweight you still maintain all the you know the vitamins and minerals in it um, to help you know keep yourself going um, so you're not doing some damage by only eating you know some crap heavily processed food uh, which normally is what happens when you start running into the stuff that you're looking to have a long shelf life, it normally is kind of bad for you to, to eat, really. Um, uh, another thing I thought about doing is getting um, multivitamins. I know people have talked about that before, <clears throat> stocking multivitamins um, to help with that. Uh, I don't really know for sure what the shelf life is on, on them. I want to say roughly, I, I would guess it's probably a year, maybe two. Um, which you could rotate that stuff out if you're taking it every day, which you probably should anyway, so. Um, 
But uh, that you know, that'd be something else you could do is uh, carry you know, bottle or two or something like that in your backpack or your go bag um, of multivitamins to help combat that. Um, that was probably the the thing that I noticed the most was uh, paying a little bit more attention to what it is that you're putting in your go bag as far as food goes, um, or preps in general as far as nutrition. Um, let me see what else. Uh, prep what you like. Trust me on this. If you if you eat spam and ramen noodles for a whole month, you never want to look at them again. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, to to do that to stomach it when that's all you're eating for a whole month. I mean, it just oh my god. Like it's probably gonna be quite some time before I I touch ramen noodles and spam again. Um, you know, so do yourself a favor and prep something that you, you know, you're not going to mind eating. Um, you know, one kind of thing I thought about, you know, if you got the money, those mountain house meals, those are pretty good. Um, normally they've got like, they're pretty high in protein because they've got some sort of meat. Um, you know, say it's like a stew or something. Um, but then they'll have cut vegetables and potatoes and stuff like that in there as well. Um, and if you get a bunch of different ones, that'll help you, you, you know, break up the monotony of eating the same thing every damn day. Um, you know, and there's other things that you can probably come up with on your own to fix that. But, uh, you know, that that's kind of the, the, the basic things that I walked away with as far as food is concerned doing this. Um, one, pay attention to what it is that you're prepping. You really need to watch what the nutritional content is and the food that you're prepping because what's the point of prepping food you know that has a 10-year shelf life if when you go to use it there's no nutritional value you're not getting out of it what you need it to do for you um, so pay attention to what it is that, that you're prepping um, look at the nutritional label make sure you're kind of covering your bases and keeping it rounded um, see what else uh, and you know try to get a, you know a few different items don't get all the same stuff um, <clears throat> and obviously you have to pay attention to uh, you know how easy it is for you to carry um, you can't carry I mean because once you seriously like you know because I've done it before once you get like five or six cans of spam and say four cans of tuna and you know a few things of oatmeal and a few things of uh, ramen noodles you know that's a fair amount of weight to add to your pack you know so that's something you gotta have to, to take in consideration also is the weight any canned good is good that that weight's gonna add up real quick um, you know so it's up to you what you want to kind of do there how much weight you want to carry but uh, just try to keep all that stuff in mind because you will certainly feel it once you're out in the field and you're doing this for so long and you got to lug all this crap around along with everything else um, just pay attention to what it is you're doing you know kinda I don't know just kinda revisit your go bag maybe go check it out see what you got in there go look at your food stores see what you got going on um, you know maybe this will help you know give you a little bit more uh, uh, of a rounded stock um, but uh, anyways that's all I got you know I'm sure there's probably some stuff I'm forgetting um, but if you got any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching, guys. Purple Marine 81 out.